All right, I'm here with a thrift haul for you. I got most of the stuff at the thrift store, one bag from a consignment store from some sale area. So I'm going to show you what I got, how much I paid for it, and how much possible profit I think I could make. Keep in mind when I show you pictures of what these items have sold for, these are not sales that I have made. These are sales that are currently on Poshmark or eBay so that I know if I think it's a good item to pick up, what I should list it for, how much money I could possibly make off of that. So keep that in mind. I have had some confusion about that in the past. If you're new here, my name's Heather. I'm a full-time reseller. I go by the Canary Closet. All of my information is down below in the description as well as links to the poly mailers that I use through gyro pack, Amazon links for all of the products that I use for my business. You can also use those Amazon links to buy anything you normally would off of Amazon. It does give me a little bit of a kickback. So that is a way that you can support the channel if you would like to. Otherwise, free ways are giving this video a thumbs up and commenting. Commenting really helps YouTube know that people are interested and it'll help push this video out into the algorithm more. So I do appreciate it if you do that. Please subscribe if you haven't yet. I do three videos a week. I might come back with more stuff after this because you don't have a ton. So we'll see. Okay, I decided to make a video really quick to address some YouTube comments that I have been getting more often recently. I don't know if this is really gonna change anything, but I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to say something. I've been replying in the comments. What it's about is that people are apparently bothered when I call myself stupid or dumb. <laughs> so when I do this, I'm not doing it in a way that makes me feel bad because my self-esteem is literally up here and it's up here basically all the time. I don't have issues with self-esteem. I don't have issues with um, worrying or anything like that. I will do things like that when I screw up my words when I'm talking because sometimes I don't edit that out and I'd rather just be real and authentic with you guys on this channel and or I'll do it like if I come home from the thrift store and I found a hole in some jeans that I didn't notice and I was like oh my gosh I'm so dumb like how did I miss that and I feel like people do that all the time and it's normal I mean I grew up in a family that's very sarcastic we like roast each other but we love each other and so I'm like what but I mean, I can understand that some people don't like that. Like I know somebody who's like, they are very not sarcastic at all and that can really hurt their feelings. So it's like, you have to know when you're talking like to somebody, but I'm talking about myself. So I feel like that shouldn't matter to you. <laughs> um, I mean, you don't have to watch my channel. So I don't know. I'm not saying this to be rude to anybody or to like be like, oh, I hate you. Like you can say whatever you want and if it's, like derogatory or something like, I mean, I will delete the comment, but if it's just something basic, like, I don't like this, like, that's fine. You can express your opinion, but just know that I'm not going to change who I am as a person for somebody on the internet. Just like, I'm not going to stop talking about my faith in God. Um, I'm not going to stop talking about politics and who I agree with or don't agree with. I'm not going to stop, stop talking about how COVID was the biggest scam in my lifetime. <laughs> I'm not going to stop calling myself dumb when I do something dumb. So literally it's okay. Don't worry about it. Take life. Like don't take life so seriously is what I meant. It's really okay. And this doesn't bother me. This doesn't make me feel any worse about myself. I really don't think I'm like a dumb person. So whatever. I'm like, I'm just going to come on here and address that. And maybe I won't, I will stop getting so many comments. So anyway, that's it. This is like my last couple bags of unlisted inventory since I got back from Disney I like need to get back to like going and doing some good shopping again so first thing up I went yesterday this is all stuff from yesterday um a pink woven pair of Kohan shoes um these were $7.99 at the Goodwill I found three pairs actually in the same style just different colors so styles W these shoes sold for $39 on Poshmark U23326 they are super lightweight, Grand OS. These are really cute. I like this like pink color. So they're lace up and they're a size um, nine and a half. Nine and a half. So also if you see anything you guys are interested in, please feel free to message me on Instagram is the best way. Um, and I can work out a deal with you. I will give you a price that's lower than what I will list it at, but I do still need to make a good profit. So I'm not trying to like be rude, but I can't accept super low things. Okay. So the other pairs are all the same size and everything, like I said, so I'll just show you the colors. These ones are in a teal color. I don't hardly have to do any cleaning on these ones. As you can see, the white is super nice. There's no stains. This pair sold for $48 on Poshmark, but I'll probably sell mine on cheaper. The fabric part. So that was nice. And then the other ones, wow, 
Oh, where are they? Okay, they're in a different bag. I guess they'll pop up later. Here's some Dansko clogs. Um, Dansko, I like selling these. These were $7.99. Sold for $37 on eBay. Brown leather, cute Mary Jane style slip on clogs. I can look up the style number, which is those long set of numbers right there before the size. Size 40 leather upper. So that's like a nine and a half, ten in US sizing. So these should do good. This Mary Jane style always does good for me from Dansko. Next up, I got these pair of Freebird by Steven. So Definitely a bolo if you see this much better in the boots. Um, these were $5. So these are a pair of like white or more like a cream leather slip on clog with like this studded detail across there. These sold for $28 on Poshmark, but I'm going to try to get a little more. It does say the style right in here, the Muse style, and they are in a size six. I think I'm only going to get like 30 to 40 for these. I am going to try to clean up these scuffs in the leather. Um, so I'll see what I have for products in my cleaning area. If you guys have any tips for cleaning up these scuffs, leave them down below. It has a wood stacked heel. So either way, even if they're not going to sell for a ton, excited to find that brand just because I like barely ever find it. Okay, I'm going to film this video and then I'm going to go shopping. This is a New with Tags Anthropology dress. It retailed for $120. I paid $15 for it, size small. I haven't found the exact style name yet, but I think it's going to do well. It's a great minimalist style. It's a black wrap dress. It's long sleeve. I think it's a maxi length, possibly a midi. I can't find information on this anywhere. I'm gonna try to get $60. We will see when I do the um, measurements. There's a slit on the bottom here. I do suggest putting in measurements in all of your listings. I think it greatly helps with returns, although I know some buyers aren't gonna look at them anyway, but I do them either way. Okay, and then this is a Jay McLaughlin dress. I just sold one on Poshmark, or on Mercari really fast. Size large, paid $6.75 for that. We'll just round that up to seven. This is a Catalina cloth, which is their signature. Again, this wrap style with this V neck, it is printed. I don't even know what you would call that print. Similar dress sold on Poshmark for $40. This is a midi length, um, very stretchy, cute, hoping to get 30 to 40 for that. Yeah, I think I'm gonna come back and show you more stuff because otherwise this video is going to be very short. This is the only piece of clothing I got at the first Goodwill. Um, the tag doesn't really matter. It's a vintage sweatshirt. It says Salem Sportswear. Uh, $4.99 I paid for this, but it's a vintage Joe Man Montana football crew neck. This was in the women's section. I think if it was in the men's, it probably would have got snatched up. I have no clue about this stuff. Here's a sold for $58, but it's not like mine. I'm going to try to get $35 for mine. So what team is he on? I don't know. Oh, San Francisco. 49ers. They're in the Super Bowl. I wish I would have found this like a little bit ago because now I'm filming this Friday in the Super Bowl Sunday. So it's like but maybe they'll win, but I don't want them to win because my husband goes for the Chiefs. I was going to be like, maybe they'll win, and then people will still want to be buying their stuff. Anyway, I know the year because it says it in, like, little tiny letters somewhere, I think. Or maybe it's 1993. Okay, it's right down here, 1993. Oops, I almost flipped off the camera there. 1993. So, yeah, that's actually cool, I think. So, I think I can maybe get 35 to 40 for this, maybe more, I don't know. Like I said, just now realized, wish I would have got that sooner. Here's the other Cole Hans. They're tan. Um, so same as before, the lightweight lace-up style. Very cute. This pair sold for $30 on Poshmark. If these were my size, I might like keep a pair, especially of like that color. I feel like that could go with a lot. And then the other shoes I got at that first Goodwill are a pair of Jack Rogers sandals. I like, I mean boots. I like selling Jack Rogers. I recently sold a pair of sandals. That's what I was trying to say. These are green suede um, boots with a wood stacked heel. They do have a side zip right here. Uh, I did pay $7.99 for those. There's a JR. These sold for $29 on Poshmark. Right here. I don't know if there's a style name. There's like a little bit of like peeling on the stuff inside, but nothing on the outside. So I think they'll still be okay. Um, I'm having trouble finding a size. And if I remember right, they have weird sizing on here. Okay, never mind. No, they don't. Size eight. 
Maybe I'm thinking of something else. So size eight, I will put something in these to like hold it up so it looks better. But green suede boots. Oh, my um, nephew found this for me at Play-Doh's. He FaceTimed me and he's like, do you want this? It is a Star Wars Disney coach uh, collaboration. And it is a Chewbacca sweatshirt. Sold for $80 on Poshmark. So I think this is so cool. They were only charging $16 at Play-Doh's. Um, on the back, it's like, I'm not even going to say that, but I mean, because I literally don't know how to say that. Whatever. I don't watch Star Wars. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I think I only saw, when I looked it up when he FaceTimed me, I only saw four listed. They were all new with tags for over a hundred dollars. So I feel like if I have the only used one and there's none sold. So I think it must be like a newer shirt, but that was exciting to find that for sure. Okay. Let me check my phone because Ryan's over at a friend's house and I just want to make sure it's not him. Okay. It's Grace. Okay. Next on... Our Goodwill bag. We have a smart wool shirt in a size extra small. This is black, a good base layer, short sleeve. I paid $2.99 for this. This is from the second Goodwill I went to yesterday, which was good, really good. So a black short sleeve smart wool shirt. This is the little logo you want to look out for for smart wool. It's that little guy. Sold for $35 on eBay. I think his name's Nitwit. And yeah. Smartwell is good. They do have a style number right here. It's the very back little tag. It's the one on the top. The one underneath is the year. So spring of 2022, I think. 88% um, merino wool. So I was excited to find Smartwell. I love selling Smartwell. Next up off the new rack, this is the brand Rosso 35, which is actually pretty expensive, but the resale isn't great, but it's still good enough for what I paid versus the profit I'm going to get. It says this retailed for $670, which is actually insane. I paid $9.99 for this. Um, I don't know if it's silk. Similar style, different color, sold for $76 on Poshmark. Kind of feels silky. Let me see if I can find it. It's size 40, made in Italy, 100% silk. Yeah, 100% silk, circle printed like yellow belted dress so here's what it looks like it's a v-neck and probably like a knee length dress so I'll look up a little bit more but like when I was doing a quick search at Goodwill it was like I don't know 50 bucks or something for newest tags dresses from this brand so I mean still good but nothing compared to the retail so that's why you always need to be checking your comps this is a lululemon hoodie that I paid $5.99 for. I don't know if it's men's or women's. Here's what it looks like. It's blue. It is men's. A different shade sold for $40 on eBay. Like, I mean, just a basic blue hooded sweatshirt with the pockets. And then the logo is down here in like the same color. So let me look in these pockets because there might be a little tag. Yes, there is with a dot. Okay, it's an M. That's a medium. So that's a men's. And yeah, so I think it's a men's medium hoodie. So I'll be able to look up the style numbers on those and see what that goes for. Yay. Yay for that. Or I'll give it to my brother, but I'll still show you what it goes for. This is a J. Crew sweater blazer, which we love. I always love to pick these up. This was only $5.99. Some of them do better than others, depending on the style. Even though this is factory, I will still get it. It's in great condition. Sold for $48.50 on eBay. It's a size medium. Here's what it looks like. So good for like work, career, office. Those are all keywords that I will use when I'm listing that. Next up we have an IC by Connie K jacket. In a size medium, I paid $4.99 for this. This is like an artsy type of brand. Similar color by the same brand sold for $44. Um, it's usually oversized. It usually has some really interesting like toggle type of buttons or something. I never can find exact sold comps in these. They have style numbers, but it never pulls up the style, at least for me. So I'm probably just going to go based on my own experience or maybe I'll try to find something, but not hopeful for finding the exact item. Uh, the short sleeve section, I found a Lululemon short sleeve. This is really cute. It's a tan and white striped little scoop neck top. I paid 
$3.99 for this. I might actually keep this because I think it's really cute. I don't know. I'm going to try it on. Sold for $27 on Poshmark. If I don't, I'm guessing like 20 bucks or so, but we'll see if I can find a sold comp on that. But that's a cute, like lightweight top. Next up, I do need to do some stain treatment on this. I noticed when I got home, but it's a Wilfred skirt. Wilfred sold at Aritzia. Um, it is a size small, $4.99. It is a pink pleated midi skirt. It does have a couple of loose threads. So I'll try to get those off, but, um, sold for $47 on Poshmark. Um, comps in this were 40 to $50. I did look them up because some stuff from Wilfred doesn't do that good, but this looks good. So excited to find that. And I'm pretty sure everything I found or almost everything I found was the new color tag. This was not, um, this is a size two Lululemon with the hang tag. It is a viscose nylon acrylic cashmere blend sweater cardigan. It is open. It's black with gray on the inside. Similar style sold for $35 on Poshmark. It is a little bit of a longer length. Seems like an oversized fit. And here's the logo, the little metal logo right down there. So I was really excited to find that. Um, $8 if I didn't say what I paid for that little cardigan. Next up is the brand Sophie Dore, if that's how you say it. Uh, size 36, I don't know what that means in US sizing, we will check. I paid $4.99 for this. Just a good basic white top, a basic white button up. Sold for $46 on Poshmark. Very cute, I think it's in good condition without any stains or anything. And I think it's just cotton. Um, I do not see a material tag, so that'll be interesting. I guess I'll just put in the description what I think it is. But a good minimalist style from a good expensive brand. Next up, we have a pair of Beyond Yoga leggings. Here's the logo. $5.99. This doesn't sell for a lot, but it's been selling quick for me in the large sizes. This is an extra large. My last extra large leggings sold in two or three days. Similar pair sold for $28 on eBay. These are super soft. They kind of have this like fold over waist detail, kind of a heathered gray-ish black um, full length leggings. So excited about that. Um, here's my receipt. We have a Patagonia jacket, which doesn't sell as good as it used to, but had to get it. Size extra large, women's. I paid $4.99 for this. Um, so here it is, it's like a pink color. Sold for $35 on eBay. Patagonia, again, it's got the style number right in the back, um, right here. STY, super easy to look up. So glad to find that. That should sell fast if I price it right. Um, I did look up comps in this because this is an older anthropology brand. It's the brand Holding Horses. Um, this was $7.99, but because of the style of it, I felt like it should do good. It's like this crushed velvet, cute little like baby doll dress, a mini dress. So I did decide to get it. Comps did look good. I can't remember what they are now. Sold for $35 on eBay. Size small. Yay. For cute anthropology. This was off of the new rack, and I have never found this brand before. It is Tanya Taylor in a size four. I paid $7.99 for this. I think this is like a pretty expensive designer brand. I don't know what this dress retails for. There's my weird water softener machine going off. Okay. Sold for $199 on Poshmark. Okay, so here's what it looks like. It's like a square neck with these big puff sleeves. It has like an open back and then it's like has the tiered ruffle probably a maxi maybe a midi i don't know but it's really fun i feel like this is so cute it'll be great for summer coming up to be listing like a cute dress it's cotton blend there is not a style number so hopefully i can just put in like blue and white patterns dress or printed dress and i can find it but yay for a new bolo brand I think, I don't know. I talked to Keegan and he said he's had a, something from that piece sitting forever. So 
We hope that doesn't happen with me. This is my most, most exciting piece. This is the brand Alexis. This is a bolo brand. This brand is so expensive and trendy. Dresses, that's a size small, I think. Um, new with tags, this is the Briley dress stripe. It retailed for $583. I think this was from a um, boutique, perch. Never heard of it. Very cute. Um, what do we have going on here? Turns out the last dress had better comps, but this one sold for $150 we hope recently. That buttons. Okay, yes. This buttons and it has little hook and eye closures all the way up with the high ruffle neck. So imagine that's closed. Sleeveless, belted, mini dress with the ruffles in the bottom. It's very preppy, very coastal. Super cute. So I'm really excited to find this. This was on a new rack. A guy went through it that I think was a reseller, but I don't think he sells women's. And I was like, oh my gosh, praise. And I stayed afterwards to like hound the other new racks when they came out, but I had never found anything as good. So, eh, that's okay. Still really excited about that. Okay, and the last thing in this Goodwill bag is a Ming Wang cardigan. This is missing the size. I'm gonna guess a medium or a large. It's a black with this like tan and white. I don't even know if this is any type of pattern. I sell these around $30 to $45, so glad to get that. And then let me show you the few things. Actually, I think this video will be okay. It's like a little shorter than my others, but I think it'll still be around 20 minutes, which is, which is good. Okay. We have a consignment store piece, and this is a new with tags, Misook jacket. So I do pick this up in really similar styles like that Ming Wang. Um, dry clean only. It retailed originally for $338. So that's crazy. This is from a consignment store which has a separate receipt, which I don't know where it is. So I think, I think I paid, wait, is it right here? Oh, here it is. Okay. Yay. I'm like, please say what I paid for this. I paid $5 for this. I can't find comps anywhere, hoping to get $50. Shockingly. $5 for this newest tags Masook black jacket. It does look oversized mid-length, probably a three-quarter sleeve. So that's good. I don't know what that's going to go for, but I'm definitely excited about that. Next up, we have a pair of Tory Burch heels. The logo's right in here. These are a pair of leopard, like calf hair, high stacked heels. I don't know what's going on with that. My water softener. I paid um, $9 for these. And then the Tory Burch logo is right back there. These are really cute. They sold for $35 on Poshmark. They are in good condition. They are, I say, six. So yay for those. I think there's a style somewhere, but I don't know. We'll figure that out later. And then this is a brand I saw somebody recently post about on Instagram, and it sold for them for like 80 or something. I paid $15 for these. Theory Rabbiton. Have you guys heard of this or have you sold it? Here's a brown pair that sold for $75 on eBay. Um, they're a pair of brown heels, uh, leather, I don't know. Like, they're a size 41. Like, I don't feel like they're very cute, but I looked up comps and like some of them were like really good. So we're gonna see how these, this is like a first time experiment for me because I see these sometimes and I always pass on them. Okay, and then the last thing I got is this jacket I paid $49 for it, but I don't know if the tag is attached in here, if I just saw it in the buttons, so I'll show you the buttons. It is Brunello Cuccinelli. So this is really cute. It is a good, like, cream-ish tan. Similar sold for $135 on eBay. Spring jacket, and it has a, like, a draw, not a drawstring, but, like, you can cinch the waist. It's a mid-length. It kind of has this sweatshirty material on the bottom. This is a great minimalist or like quiet luxury type of style. So I've been watching this there and waiting for the price to go down. I don't think there's any, like there's tags in here that have like the material and the size, cotton, um, but like the Brunello Cuccinelli is just on the buttons. But I think I'm going to be able to list this for at least 200 maybe 150 I don't know. Like, I should be able to still make good profit off that. So we'll see if I can find that style. It might be kind of hard, so I might have to just find something close. But that's my haul, guys. I'll pop in here with the numbers. 
and we'll see how we did. Okay, finished with 1,601. I realized when I filmed earlier, I think I was looking in the wrong spot, um, my little tiny rant video that's really echoey in here, but that's because it's in my like huge bedroom. And I feel like it's like so big and I mean, we have stuff in it, but anyway. Um, took out 20% for fees, that's $320. $257 for cost of goods leaves me with a total possible profit of $1,024. I'm really happy with this haul. I just got it all drafted today. So it will be up live on my website, probably my website, Poshmark and eBay and stuff by tomorrow or the next day if you're interested. Otherwise, as always, you can message me on Instagram. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please comment down below. Give this video a thumbs up on your way out and I'll see you guys on Friday with my What Soul video. Bye.